You're listening to the Daily Buzz from the 2015 Sundance Film Festival on KCBW and online. We're now joined by the filmmakers from 20 Years of Madness, the opening night film at Slam Dance Film Festival. We have Jeremy Royce and Jerry White Jr. Welcome, guys. Thanks. Hey, thanks for having and us. we're also joined with our favorite team, John Wildman and Dominic Mill. Yeah. All right. Uh, you guys said you premiered last night. Yeah. All right. So you... The, 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 the movie itself is a journey, uh, you, know, you know, bringing back this, this reunion of, of guys and, 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 and girls that played in front of the camera and had a life in front of the camera. You brought them back and, and, and you know, watching the film, you do have doubts whether or not you're actually going to finish this. And now you go to another level of having a film about that film. And can, can you talk about the decision because you obviously were documenting this stuff as you were making the film, but now to get to this point where now people can see, it, it, it's like seeing the second variation, you know, generation of that. Can you talk about that? Yeah. I mean, for me, uh, as the director of the TV show, uh, 30 Minutes of Madness, um, it was, we were so used to being in front of the camera, like uh, as teenagers, in, in, I think a lot of these people, even though they hadn't been in front of the camera for years, they fell back into it. So. I feel pretty proud of the fact that I th we were able to kind of not we ignore the doc cameras and and you know they they were flying the wall in a lot of uh, situations so I felt like we were able to be really authentic to do what we wanted to do um, and so while we were in production on the show um, you know they kind of they, they left a very small footprint and so I kind of I had my own experience like I was just making a TV show again with my old friends but he had a different experience I mean in a way they were the dream subjects because they literally grew up with cameras in their face all the time and they're also going through this process of making a TV show which is inherently difficult and filled with issues and challenges so we got the chance to stand back and just really see how it all was gonna unfold and they just you know did their thing yeah. Well, I always have this. I always have this question when I watch something like this, and and there are some tough moments you, where you, you you think you guys are going to have a falling out, and this is going. And as as the filmmaker filming that, mm -hmm. I always wonder, like you know, if you're going, maybe I should say something. Yeah. But or, or, or and the other side is going, no, I don't want to say anything. This is awesome. <laughs> this is this is great on camera. So you know, as you're behind the camera, as you're watching that, what is going through your head when you see that stuff actually play out in front of you? I mean, for me, it's. On one hand, I'm, I was so involved with these characters. You get personally invested in their lives because it's not just you're showing up and filming for the weekend. You're like literally living with these people for months and years. So it's hard to see the struggles, but also you know like this is the gold that's going to make the doc work. So there, there are moments where there's a huge you know, battle, there's fighting, and then it kind of just comes to a head, but nothing, it's not going to move any further. And you might at that point step in and say, so what did you mean by this when you said that? And kind of get them to almost process in front of you in times when maybe they wouldn't do that on their own. AKA uh, stoke the fire, <laughs> um, <laughs> which happened. I think that some, some arguments may have petered off, but, um, <laughs> but what, it, it's actually really cathartic because it would have petered off unresolved. Mm -hmm. And even if it ended up boiling over, it at least got us to uh, address it and then later have to c deal with it. So I, I felt like he was very respectful in the way that he dealt with that. And it's not like you were constantly you know, prodding us uh, or anything like that. But there were a couple of moments where... Well, you, you know how much they can take and how far they can go com comfortably. And I've always kept that in mind. And in general, I think everyone's happy that what happened happened. So. Um, the overarching narrative of the documentary actually kind of oddly reminded me a bit of the Blues Brothers. It's like mm. the idea that we're getting the old band back yeah. together. I was just wondering, were you expecting that when you started? Or, did, or like, was it like something that naturally formed as you were sort of going essentially cross country, picking up these people along the way? Yeah, I mean, it was an early uh, touchstone for us when we were just formulating what the doc was going to be ab about. Yeah. Uh, the other element is it's an ensemble film. You yeah. know, th there's close to 20 characters. And at the time that we started, we didn't know necessarily who our main characters were going to be. So we have to treat every character as a potential main character. So, and I know for you, Jerry, the Blues Brothers have always been a touchstone. Yeah, I mean, I'm from I'm from the Midwest and grew up. I, I love. It's one of my favorite films. It is my and favorite I just, film. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Come on, it's so great. And I and there's so many ways to do that that's interesting um 
And so I, I definitely, like, in, I realized early on, like, this is that. Like, I'm actually living my own version of it with less car crashes, but, um, <laughs> you know, nevertheless. Uh, and, and, and ultimately getting to a similar place where the old problems resurface. You're like, yeah, I remember why, you know, this fell apart last time. But in the end of Blues Brothers, and not to give away the uh, end of our film, but we find a, a resolution that, you know, makes sense. But you guys have been great. Thanks, Jeremy, Jerry. Uh, the movie plays again up at Slam Dance. So we Wednesday at 11.30, come back if you want to ask more questions. Hell yeah. 11.30 a.m. All right. Yes. All right. Well, Congratulations. Thanks. Thank you, guys. Congratulations. Thanks a lot for Thanks coming into the Daily Buzz.